today I'm doing a ice test on my Orca cooler that uh, I just purchased after months of watching videos and looking different reviews now I know there's a lot of ice tests out there every Dick and Harry every Joe Schmo already done one but I want to see it firsthand in my house me doing it I want to see how long it can hold ice for so <clears throat> got 20 pounds of uh, ice from the store uh, the place I'm doing it I am in Florida it's very humid we recently had a storm here very humid temperatures about 85 to 90 humidity's up there probably 95 to 100 easily very humid like I said so let's get started all right so this is 20 pounds of ice in my orca 26 20 pounds I'll check it every day I'm only going to open the lid once a day and that's it to check the progress of the ice today's Friday two o'clock I'll check it on Saturday okay this is day two of <clears throat> the ice challenge I'm doing on my orca let's take a look inside Wow, very good, uh, very minimal melting, still very solid, very impressed. All right, check on it tomorrow. Okay, so this is day three of my uh, ice test on my new Orca cooler. I am very excited to see <clears throat> how long it's uh, going to hold ice for um, because in the recent past I had shitty coolers that you take them out on a boat four hours later you have water in them so <clears throat> I'm very excited for this test and uh, let's take a look inside this is day three all right so there is melting going on it still has ice big chunk of ice left in there yeah it's looking good all right so I'm gonna close it up and uh, check tomorrow see what I have So this is day four of the ice test that I'm doing on my new Orca cooler. Um, yesterday it was, I would say, halfway point. Let's see what's going on today. All right, so this is day four. As you can see, it's probably 80% melted. Still has ice. Still very cold in there. So, I see it making to day five easily. But uh, I'm going to close this up and uh, I'll check on it tomorrow. Okay, this is day five of my Orca ice test. So let's take a look, see what's going on in there. All right. That's pretty much all water now. There's some ice left. Um, 
I could definitely see it uh, going to day six, but there's just no point. I'm gonna stop the test here. But yeah, oh, it's yeah, it's still ice cold in there. Um, but yeah, very happy with the cooler, how it held up. Um, the only part that I was not happy with is uh, the sweating around the drain plug. Um, but otherwise, yeah, pretty good, held up to the test. There's just... All right, now to do a quick recap. Now, this cooler survived five days. It could probably go another day easily. But keep in mind, this cooler was opened once a day. Now, realistically, if you have kids, you have friends at a party, on a boat, wherever you use the cooler at, I don't see the cooler lasting five days with ice because you're gonna have numerous people opening it, your kids are gonna open it, they're not gonna close it properly, you know the deal. So, in my opinion, realistically, two days of hardcore using, opening, closing, two days, I don't see a problem. Three days, pushing it, four days, no way. Um, that's just from my opinion, from looking how uh, the ice melted. Uh, it was placed here in my shop, which is all metal. I don't have air conditioning. It gets very hot. I am in central Florida. Um, and just a quick recap, is it worth it? Well, it all depends. I live in Florida. It's very hot here. I use the cooler a good 10 months out of the year. For me, yes, it is worth it. It is a good investment because I'm always getting ice at the ice machine. If I'm going on a boat, it doesn't last as long in my other coolers. So the money spent on this cooler was justified because it is gonna save me on ice. Uh, it's gonna save me on fuel. I don't have to run back and get more ice if we're out all day. Um, and the only reason I chose a Orca cooler is because it was made in the USA. You have a lot of choices out there, but uh, I just wanted to buy something from the US that's made here, you know, um, on US soil. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, you have any questions, uh, shoot me an email and I will get back, back to you and try to answer them as quickly as possible.